This is Pillar Falls, uh, a significant little drop off in the Snake River near Twin Falls, Idaho. Kind of a scenic little spot here along the Snake River. Um, and we are on the north side of the Snake River Canyon. And the object of focus here is a really remarkable outcrop behind me that shows where the Snake River was uh, maybe a few million or so years ago. We don't have any hard dates on this, but definitely in ancient times. So the landscape in southern Idaho is one in which um, lava coming out of these local volcanoes has been fighting against the rivers. As the lava comes out of these volcanoes, it goes downhill, it spills into the canyons. Uh, that lava mixes with water and it produces some different features that help us as geologists to look back and be able to say with some certainty that lava and water were intermingling. And so as that lava goes into the river, if enough lava fills the river channel, it can uh, divert the river to some other place. So rivers in Southern Idaho, especially in the Snake River Plain, have been diverted uh, by these lava flows over the last four or so million years. And the Snake River is no different, even though it's the largest river in Southern Idaho, uh, sometimes it's significant eruptions can completely overwhelm the river and its channel and its bed and cause it to be diverted somewhere else. And a great place to see this is right here behind me. So if we look uh, up here at the cliffs, you'll see that there's kind of a, a light colored layer up there. And that lighter colored layer is actually sand. And beneath that sand is a kind of gray layer that goes all the way across this cliff face for maybe about 100 yards or so. And this is a layer of gravel. Now it's too difficult to get up there and uh, actually see this firsthand. The rock's pretty fractured and broken uh, and it'd be a little sketchy to get up there on my own. But weathering has pulled some of those gravels out and we can actually see some of them uh, right here on the ground. So you can actually see these rocks are very well rounded. They're different than the black angular basalts that are just uh, being caused by normal rock fall. So these gravels we see uh, in that uh, layer up above me uh, have quartzites in them, uh, some other rock types that you don't see in this part of Southern Idaho. And these rocks all seem to indicate uh, that this is a large channel of the Snake River itself. These quartzites you see in here uh, would be coming from eastern Idaho, maybe western Wyoming, some of the mountains around there. So these rocks have traveled a few hundred miles through this ancient Snake River channel that goes from uh, just this nice area right here. Again, like I said, maybe a hundred uh, yards or so across the other face down at the other end. Um, so we have the gravels, a little bit of sand up there, and then sitting right on top of that, that creamy sand layer is some basalt that looks a little different. It's more grayish. It has a lot of holes in it. You might see some of the cliff swallows flying out of it. You can also see some significant rounded shapes in that basalt layer. Those are actually what we call pillow basalts or pillow lavas. And they form when lava flows into water. The, the water cools the lava very quickly and quenches it. So it develops this glassy exterior um, and then it breaks out and forms another kind of rounded lobe, hence the name pillows. And again, it's too hard to get up there to look at these, but we can actually look at uh, one that I found or a broken piece of one here off the ground. So you can see it's pretty dense on the inside, uh, but it has this kind of orangish red coating along the outside. This is what's called pelagonite. This is an alteration product produced by uh, the lava and the water interacting. You might see by here, right here by my thumb, it's a little bit more black and a little bit more glassy right there. So again, this is a, a piece of the pillow basalt that line the area up there. So what we would call this is a paleo channel. This is actually where the Snake River was flowing at some time in the past. Again, we don't have dates on these layers as of yet. Um, and now, of course, the Snake River is much deeper and further to the south. So this eruptive event here uh, filled in the Snake River channel and filled it with so much lava that it got diverted and ultimately it ends up, you know, maybe uh, a quarter mile or so away to the south. So again, pretty spectacular scenery here just below Evil Knievel's uh, jump site here in Twin Falls, Idaho, right adjacent to Pillar Falls.